Ever since the first humans appeared, there has been a natural movement of people. Over the past millennia, people have moved vast distances for all kinds of reasons. From persecution to war, from earthquakes and floods to famine, or simply driven by curiosity about other peoples and locations. Of course, in the past, travel was slow and there were great risks. Nonetheless, people continued to move. We always have. We always will. It's what we humans do. Even at a time of fast, convenient and affordable global travel, it can still be extremely difficult for people to flee conflict, persecution and hardship. In the past few years, record numbers of people worldwide have been forced to flee their homes. Instead of providing protection to them, many countries are slamming their doors shut. The wealthiest nations are leaving other poorer countries to cope alone with nearly all the world's 21 million refugees, while politicians and powerful media portray people running for their lives as illegal or faceless invaders who are a security threat. By dehumanizing people in need of international protection, they are ducking their responsibility to protect people fleeing violence, persecution and conflict. You might wonder if we require new laws to protect the rights of refugees. We don't. International refugee law and human rights law provide a sophisticated and balanced system to allow people in need to escape war and persecution in order to access protection in a third country.